It's Meghan Marble's clumsy public relations efforts to grab attention during Coronation Week. I think it was all highly predictable. This was pulled straight from Meghan Masterclass and How to Get Everyone Talking About Me Again, it's basically Hollywood advertising. The dramatic makeover, the basketball game. Because the race is a shameful attempt to divert attention from the key after months of deliberate avoidance of the spotlight, allowing Harry to bear the backlash against his unnecessarily ugly royal disgrace. It all started the day we saw the vendetta unveiled. Meghan revealed a dramatic new look to the world as she claimed to support a good cause. To successfully steal the show at Charles TV's adultery confession, then on April 25th, Meghan showed up with Harry at the Lakers basketball game. Of course, they were trying to shut down all the rumors that Meghan and Harry were living increasingly separate lives, but Meghan just couldn't accept her husband's attempt to lip-smack while being filmed on the famous kiss. And what was Diana's version? Well, on February 2nd, when she turned her cheek when her then-husband tried to kiss her after a very uncomfortable award show at the Polo 24 hours before talent, which sparked a lot of speculation about the failed royal wedding. On April 27, Meghan made a big announcement about signing with the Hollywood super agent and a pre-orchestrated ad campaign that was released straight to the entertainment Bible variety to make a wave. Diana did something similar in November. Diana used the media to report a partial return to work through the Red Cross after a year off. After discovering that Charles had vetoed a role as UK's goodwill ambassador, so she wouldn't distract from her charitable endeavors. Now at this point Meghan is her own person, she's no longer part of the royal family, so she doesn't really need to coordinate her media activities, it's something she apparently despised doing with a passion so that in fact she was one of them. Buckingham Palace Established in but it can't be a coincidence that these three major interventions took place just a week before the king's coronation, the most important day in his father-in-law's life. Looks like Meghan here. She timed her almost complete disappearance from the spotlight over four full months, it's now a lifetime in Hollywood, and she did it to make the most impact when she stepped out at that momentous moment. And I'm sure Meghan was acutely aware of the attention she would get by going public after being in hiding for so long just before a big moment for the British monarchy. But at this point, we know all about Meghan's games. As I suspect, Meghan is so incredibly jealous that she won't be able to be a part of it. So there was really no chance of Meghan reappearing via the first coronation in 70 years as she might have originally planned, and now she's going to do as she pleases. Gorilla style. Megan can't seem to grasp the fact, however, that the public has now figured out what she's doing with every scheme to make money or gain attention, further lowering her popularity on both sides. Of the Atlantic today. A Daily Mail illustrated how bad things have gotten in the UK, K, Harry and Meghan's approval ratings are just 22% and 18%, respectively, which only makes Prince Andrew less appreciated. To make matters worse, only a third of the population actually believe Meghan and Harry's wild allegations against the royal family are true, but Meghan just doesn't seem to get it. Or maybe she doesn't care, no wonder she goes through the counselor so quickly. I don't think he listens to anyone's advice, I mean, just imagine the poor ARC staffer who was sent to him. How about waiting just two weeks for all of this to give the king the moment he's been waiting for? See if anyone dares tell that kind of truth to Meghan and Harry. Well, they get fired quickly when you live in a whole world of yes. This is exactly why these errors keep happening even now. Of course, the Market family themselves also contributed to the distraction this week. Her dad Thomas, who happens to be a decent man, came out for the first time in a year since suffering a near-fatal stroke to beg Meghan for another chance and a heartbreaking Australian TV special. After all, she was the one who so cruelly took her family out of her life out of embarrassment and one of the most horrific acts I can remember by a public figure. Especially when you remember that her father raised her most of her life and gave her everything she wanted. Megan is actually the only circus to do the right thing and track down the person who gave her all the tools. She had to become a Hollywood actress before it was too late, but she won't. Instead, 
she'll continue to convince herself that her father is evil and doesn't matter anymore, even though he's alive and well and living in Mexico, not too far from Montecito anyway. Having a lot of her quirkiness and loyalty, Megan is now surrounded by some of Hollywood's biggest beasts at the well, maybe to wake up people in Hollywood. He's just looking at his behavior over the past week, apparently designed to deliberately distract from the coronation. Thanks to her Mimi, Megan Hollywood Circus doesn't just behave like an icon. Instead, it fits so much better with a fallen star, a fallen star who had the chance to change the world within the royal family. But he allowed his inflated ego to ruin everything, we can't forget his shameful PR stunts, but at least now we can see his antics for what they really are and laugh. I also read that there was no invitation to the Met Gala because they weren't comfortable with Meghan's tendency to say too much. So it looks like she and Harry are slowly but surely being ostracized in the celebrity world. Their ugly campaign against the monarchy is not working out very well for them. I'll wait to see what other stunts Meghan does for the coronation itself. Maybe they'll post a fake photo on her birthday, just so it's the same day as her grandfather's coronation or they'll do it right after, after all, Megan's purpose in life was always been to become someone in Hollywood. Not just acting, but she also wants to be a producer. Now, Harry's usefulness in helping him achieve this goal becomes more and more limited. Also, only one reason people are interested in articles at this point is because they love to hate her and when it comes to the coronation and all the events the royal family will be at the center of everything it will still be unless one foot will just stand he pouts as he will secretly watch every detail and keep a close eye on Harry's welcome.